Hey guys, Jared Smith here, and today I'm going to help you fix your hip bursitis. First of all, I'm going to tell you what it is, and then give you some ideas on how you can fix it. So let's get started. Okay, so first thing I'm going to explain what a bursa is. A bursa is a fluid-filled sac. Now the fluid it's filled with is synovial fluid and it lubricates mainly a joint. Now these bursas are, fit, are, are found all around the body, mainly at joints but they can be at other bony landmarks as well and the idea is to reduce friction of the soft tissues going over the top. So when we're talking about hip bursitis we're talking about the trochanteric bursa. If I just use Felix here I'll show you where the trochanteric bursa is. So here we have the femur, uh, we have the greatest trochanter here, and then we have a bursa that runs over the top of the greatest trochanter. Now we have many soft tissues that run into the greatest trochanter, but the one that mostly causes this issue is the iliotibial band running from the iliac crest down to the knee, down to the lateral condyle of the tibia, and it runs right over the top, and if this becomes tight, then uh, it can cause the friction and cause that irritation. This is common in running, jumping and cycling. So now you know what what we're talking about when we're talking about hip bursitis. Now I'm going to give you some ideas to fix it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is ice and take some ibuprofen to bring down the swelling. The next thing you want to do is stretch out the IT band. So there's many ways you can do this. I'll, I'll give you two stretches right now. You're going to take the leg of your injured hip, uh, take it behind the other one. So you cross your legs over like this. You'll reach down to your toes, and then you can push your hip out to the side. It's very subtle, but push your hip out to the side, and I can feel that stretching all the way down my hip, uh, my IT band. Do these stretches for about 30 seconds, 15 to 30 seconds and about 2 sets. So the second one, you're going to lean against a table, you can lean against a wall or a door. And you're going to take your injured hip, lean it away, step over the top of it and then lean into it. Again, this is going to really stretch the IT band. Again, hold it for 15 to 30 seconds, 2 sets. Okay, so now we're going to do a piriformis stretch, so for this one we're going to have to get down on the floor. So take the injured hip, cross it over the other one so you make a figure of four, and then bring your leg up a little bit, not very flexible at the moment, but then you just lean forward into it and I can feel the stretch right in my piriformis there. Hold it for five seconds, release, go back into it, five seconds, release, do that five times. Or you can do this from your back, so you lay down on your back and you just hold behind the knee and just pull it towards you and hold it for about 15 to 30 seconds. Okay, after you've done the stretching, you're going to want to do some exercises. So, the first one I recommend is a clamshell. So lay on your side, and you're just gonna lift your knee up just like this. Make sure your legs are bent. Just lift up your leg. You'll want to do three sets of this, as many repetitions as you can, before you feel a little bit of discomfort. After this, you'll wanna go to straight leg raises. The reason we change it is it works different muscles. Again, three sets of as many reps as you can. For the last one, you just lie on your back, get your injured leg out, and just leg raise up so it's in line with your thigh here, and then down. As many reps as you can, three sets. So 
I hope this has helped. Uh, I hope it helps any of you suffering with hip ursitis. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more frequent content. And I'll see you all in the next video.